Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my video. This video will be for whoever needs to hear this much at the fifth time, basically, okay? So it's for all my kings and my queens coming to the building, okay? Alrighty, you guys. All right, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does, what doesn't, leave it on out. And also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future, okay? All right. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? I want to start off with this first before we get into, like, the, you know, the detail, what have you, of the situation. But some of y'all... Okay, it's like three different energies here on the table. We're going to get to that in a second, but first I want to focus on you. Okay, collective. Now, here's the thing. Spirit wants you guys to surrender. He wants you to surrender here. Stop trying to control life, okay? It gets in the way of your, like basically of divine intervention. So, God already has a plan and it works for you. Because say if you try to go out there, say for example, you guys are trying to look for an apartment or a, a nicer place to go or you know what have you you trying to find somewhere you know or you just found an application for college or whatever it's like with that being said say you don't get approved here but you get approved there okay but you wasn't expecting to get approved there you was expecting the other place but god is going to open doors for you what doors is closed is closed what doors is open is open and that's just period so it's like let everything go Okay, do your best, do what it is that you want to do, go after, apply for, whatever. Okay, if the door opens, it's meant for you. If it doesn't, that's not meant for you. It's for your own protection. Stop trying to control situations, okay? Or even dealing with certain people or, you know, around you or what have you, okay? Then we have here time. Time spent worrying is time spent, exactly. So you wasting time by worrying. Okay, so do, don't be worrying, okay? So you're wasting time. Some of y'all just wasting your time. Y'all be worrying about things that don't even need to be worried about because guess what? You can't control it. If you can't control that, don't worry about that because all you can do is control yourself. You know what I'm saying? So let that shit go because you you wasting time worrying about some shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay, baby? All right. And um, the third card we got was change. A resistance to change is a resistance to life itself. Open your heart and mind to new beginnings here. So you need to be open-minded when it comes to change. Okay, don't be afraid of change. Just let change be. Okay, let that shit be. Let that shit come on in. Okay, period. Now, that's all I'm going to say about that. But what I got here, you guys, okay... Ooh, honey, we got three different energies. Okay, I'm going to start off with one energy, okay? This energy here, okay? Now, I'm going to say this. Now, all men that play video games or what have you is immature. No, they're not. Because I know some, I don't know personally, but I have heard other women say that they have like 50-year-old men, 45-year-old men playing video games. What have you, okay? But if that man is established, he has, you know, he got money in the bank or he's a hardworking man. He has already built his foundation and he want to go over there and play a fucking game. Hell yeah, let that man play a fucking game. He can escape and he could, you know, whatever. That could, that could calm him. That could be, you know what I'm saying, a... Uh, but don't stay there is all I'm saying, okay? But anyway, you know, that's just like an escape, all right? But on the other hand, if somebody just play games all day, they a broke bum, okay, they a scrub, okay? A scrub is a guy that gets something, and I went, mm, you know what I mean, TLC, honey, all right? He's a scrub, hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Okay, and don't want to do nothing but live off of you. and Or for my man, vice versa, whatever. Okay, different ways. All you want to do is shop all damn day and, you know, spend your money. And not do nothing, not clean, not cook, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But this is what this type of person is. But I'm getting, it says a weak man. Okay, so this is the person. They're lazy. Whoever this person is, they're lazy. They All they do is play video games here all fucking day. They might have a job, but it's like, what is your real purpose? What is What are you trying to invest in to create something for, you know, longevity, wealth, 444 when I look at the clock? Okay, what is your plan? What is your What is your goal in five months, five years, nigga? Okay, but this then this person was the type of person that was weak as hell, 
juggling, probably even juggling you, trying to talk and flirt with other people, but they try to dismiss you like you wasn't shit, but you already had your life go, your life plan going on, okay, and this person tried to discredit you as if you ain't had your shit going on, so you already know you were dealing with a weak man, somebody that was insecure as fuck, okay, somebody that was insecure as fuck, all right, yeah, try to dismiss you, <laughs> I'm getting collective, y'all been through a lot, y'all done been through a lot, y'all done been through a lot, Okay, and I'm getting like you just ready to be in a situation where you got loyalty. Like they say, they say loyalty over love. To be honest with you, I believe in that. I believe in that because somebody could love you all day. Somebody could love you all day, but that don't mean they'll be loyal to your fucking ass. But if they loyal to you, baby, oh my gosh, they always gonna have your back. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. just like blood ain't thicker than water. You know, period. But anyway, so yeah. Don't nobody got time for that, okay? So, with that being said, y'all. I'm getting, like, these people here been trying to call you. Trying to see what's up with you, whatever. Okay? But I'm getting, like, the shoes on the other foot. Okay? The shoes on the other foot with these individuals, okay? But I'm getting someone in particular here. Between the ages of 25 or 35, or you could be between the ages of 25 and 35. Okay, there's someone here that is very stable. This is the second energy, okay? So you could be dealing with a broke motherfucker and a stable motherfucker, okay? But somebody here is stable. We're going to talk about the stable motherfucker, okay? This stable motherfucker, they want to explore your mind, your body, and your soul. This is a gentleman, okay, baby? And this is the person that is about their business. They might even have their own business, okay? But I'm definitely, again, this could be a smoker for some of y'all. This could be a smoker. But um, they could smoke a little, you know what I'm saying, a little reefer. For some of y'all, this this person could be older in age. If they're not 20, between 25 and 35, they could be about, I'm getting 40 to 50, okay? But anyway, this is a new love that's coming in, Okay? Mm. This motherfucker is very intelligent. I tell you that. The way you gonna know is how they carry themselves. I, they gonna be all conservative and shit. Like, you gonna think they gonna come off as serious. Okay, but that's just the way they come off. But nah, okay. Hmm. Suit and tie, motherfucker. So for some of y'all. But <laughs> I'm getting, this person is offering you something. They're gonna be offering you something. Okay, they see potential in you. They want to work with you. Whoever this person is, they want to work with you. They, they see potential in you. That's why it's like you haven't intrigued this person, this stable motherfucker. It's like your mind and your body is just so intriguing to them. Okay, like this person feel like they can have an intellectual conversation with you. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, for some of y'all. But, ooh. Somebody could feel... Like you also could be stubborn, so some of y'all could be a Taurus or a Leo with that sassy attitude, but don't have to be. But um, and even if you don't have a sassy attitude, it's like you get feisty when you need to. It's like you're not gonna let somebody just run all over you, okay? Even if you're so sweet, okay. But I'm getting it's something abundant about you because we have the number eight, 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 eight. Okay, baby, boom. So it's like you're about to receive some type of a money flow. Abundance is, is yours at this time, okay? You are very blessed at this time. There's about to be, uh, um, look, I had to get my notes together, okay? There's about to be like, you're about to receive a divine gift. You're about to receive a, a gift from the divine here, okay? It's like things are about to calm down in your life. Everything is about to work itself out. Everything, all the pieces are about to be connected. You're about to be connecting the dots. So this is the this is the time for calm and peace. You've been through the struggles for most of y'all. Y'all been through the struggles. Like I said, you've been through a lot. Most of y'all been through the fucking struggles already. And now it's time for calm and peace. Your life is calming down. And you can finally reap the benefits, okay, of your hard work. All right, you you have some of you have found your higher purpose. It has been discovered for you, and your path is here. It's been illuminated. That's why you're in this eight 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 abundant energy. Okay, but mm. Yeah, I had got cut off when I was getting ready to give y'all a message. I don't notice if y'all I don't know if y'all noticed. Um, I just totally just switched that shit up. 
because it's like a message trying to come through. But I'm going to keep it to myself because it's being blocked for a reason, okay? Or the damn devil, whoever this person is, is weak man, don't want you to know. I keep getting that. They're trying to block something, some information in particular that you should know about. I don't know what the fuck this is. But I'm going to see a spirit going to reveal it, okay? But, um, yeah. So let me get on this, though. This is the thing. Of course, your, your life is going to be calm. Nothing is going to affect you because you are definitely protected. But, of course, you also have to know who your enemies are or who is, you know what I'm saying? But you already know, especially if you if your path has been illuminated, okay? Something is awakening up in there, that third eye, boo-boo, okay? But anyway, so here's the thing. There is a jealous woman, okay? I don't know if this person is around you or just somebody you know or who the fuck this bitch is, okay? But she's jealous of you. Okay, she could be a younger water sign, all right, or if this if this is not you, but I'm getting a, a Cancer Pisces with Scorpio, okay, this person doesn't want you to receive something, and I'm getting it has to do with this offer from the stable individual, whoever this person is, this businessman, like she's jealous, whoever this feminine is, okay, she could be the one that is stubborn as well or have a sassy ass attitude. So I wanted to clarify, yeah, she wants something to end in your life with the Ten of Swords. What is this woman's intention? Mm, don't get my, my nose start itching, boy. What's this uh this woman's this jealous woman's intention? Oh yeah, did is that is that the don't tell me I don't tell me I seen that card. Okay, if it come out, it come out, boo. There we go, moon card. That's what the fuck I thought. She trying to keep something hidden here with the moon card. Okay, her, her her jealousy, the way she feel. This is the truth with the Ace of Swords. So, damn. I don't know why people are trying to fuck with you. I don't know why they doing that. Because they don't want you to see something. This is crazy. So, somebody could be definitely doing some type of moon magic or trying to confuse you in some type of way. It could be a cancer, if you're not a cancer. Okay, four of cups, because they're discontent, and they're getting rejected, and they're lost in the dark place. What the fuck? Let's see. What is this ace? Okay. This hermit in reverse. Wow. I'm getting this person has no spiritual power whatsoever. So whoever this person is is jealous woman. She's jealous of your spiritual power. She's jealous of what you can manifest and what you can create. Ah, yeah, bitch. That's why you don't tell bitches your motherfucking business. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing some of y'all like, I don't, hell no, I don't do that, boo. Hell no. I, I already know some of y'all saying that. I'm just saying, damn, okay? Boo, damn, sis, shit, shit. I'm just saying, okay? But it's like some of y'all, yeah, somebody then, somebody, <laughs> somebody lost their spiritual power. Maybe this person was once spiritual, this water sign. I don't know, this jealous one, but she became, her envious became so great that she lost all spiritual power. This could be a Virgo, a, a, a unstable Virgo, okay? All right? Yeah, high priestess, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody lost their spiritual power fucking with you. Whoever you are. If you're not a Virgo, this could be a Virgo or Cancer but, or Pisces, but somebody fucked up, okay? Fucking with you is what I'm getting, okay? Yes, Queen of Cups. The Chariot, Cancer. Can, you, If you're not this water sign, this is a water sign, okay? What is this Queen of Cups here, boo-boo? So this is the motherfucking T today. The full card, Aries energy, okay? Maybe that's okay, the High Priestess. I'm getting like, you could have spiritual power. You could definitely be a high priestess your damn self. Okay? Especially you living, living in this abundance here. All right? Maybe you got the notion. Your intuition was telling you something about this female. Okay? That did not want to be exposed. But let me see. So, fuck her because she's irrelevant. Who gives a fuck? Of course, you're going to have your haters. At least you know who they are. Woo the woo. Now, this person want to apologize. She want to apologize to you because you know why? Because you want the Six of Wands energy. You're very successful at this time. You're looking good. You're getting a lot of attention. So, this person wants to apologize to you now. This friend or whoever the fuck this bitch is. Boom, bam, bam. She's a non factor. Um, So, let's see what, what's going on with this person, this weak man. I'm getting there. We're trying to cover something up too, as well. So, Spirit, what, what's going on with this weak dude? This could be in Aquarius with the Star Card. Because that shit was flipped like this And it's supposed to be like this, okay So what's going on with this weak man Four of wands Okay This could be, okay Um oh. 
So somebody was lying here about something with the five of swords. This person wanted to defeat you at all costs. Okay, they even ganged up with a couple of uh, other people, probably up to two females here that was trying to conjure up some plan or even I'm getting uh, hired a, um, a, a dark practitioner here to do something to you, your foundation. That's what this weak man was doing here. Okay. But this practitioner, this, whoever this woman is, she she shouldn't have been trusted either. Okay, this Pisces or whoever the fuck, she shouldn't have been trusted either. What the fuck? Yeah, we got the Nine of Swords. Two ones. And the Hierophant. They could have even did this like chaos magic to make you overthink a situation. Maybe with the Taurus. For some of y'all, maybe with the Taurus or somebody tried to overlook a situation. Y'all, let me get my damn water because we about to get into it. Okay, before I lose my voice, somebody trying to fuck with my throat shock worker. Okay, hold on. Okay, so. Ooh, my chain it got stuck to my motherfucking chain. Ah! Okay. So let's see what else. Yeah, four of cups. Because they were discontent maybe with their situation. Maybe they were dealing with a queen of swords energy. Okay, a, 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 a bitch. Okay, I ain't even going to put it no other way. Yeah, watching you was stalking you and shit. Watching you happy as fuck and shit. Lying and gossiping. Mm. So that's what they were doing. They was hiring folks to try to create some type of magic. And fuck up your foundation with you and someone else. So fuck them. Fuck the situation. Who gives a damn? Let's see about this new love. Okay. This stable person that's coming in. All right. Shield. That's already here. All right. I don't even know what to call it is. Because this was a lot. This was a lot. What's going on with this stable individual? This stable masculine? That's coming in for my collective. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Some of you right now could be like feeling like, you know, like, how can I say this? Like, bored, discontent right now. Your, your work could be going good. Some of you could work from home. Some of you could be a public speaker. Or it's like you're studying, you're going to college, some shit like that. Whatever you do. In your time alone, some of y'all could be feeling lonely as fuck, right? But y'all don't realize that there is an offer coming in. Or, you know, because something here is going to be, a wish is going to be granted. I should say with the Nine of Cups. There's going to be a wish that's going to be coming in. Somebody's going to take action towards you and offer you something. But I want to know why you're in the Four of Cups energy. Why is my collective in the Four of Cups energy? Or maybe, yeah. Or you just ghosting folks, blocking them left and right like you don't want to be bothered. Okay? Because some of you are so content anyway. Some of you are drawn in wealth and abundance to the point where you just rather be single. Okay? That's for some of y'all. All right? Yeah. Yeah, or you could be afraid. For some of y'all, you're afraid to open back up. Uh-huh. You're very intuitive, baby. Very intuitive. You are, the, you are very intuitive. If you're not a water sign, or you have water in your chart, but Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you definitely could very be. Damn. So it's like, I don't even know what to say, but I'm going to end it at that because I don't know what to call this. Like, because people might, I, whatever. But all I can say is, baby you are definitely very powerful whoever you are okay and you have definitely shifted your reality and what you wanted to go and how you want it to be all right you are the master of your life nobody controls you not this government not this world not these people not these things they don't control you you control it so you know it's like you do what you want to do whether that's entertain or not entertain whether that's be you know single well, with someone, period. You do what you want to do. You're you're fully aware and act. You you're fully fucking aware. Okay, baby. All right, honey. Shit. Whoever whoever this is, try. All right, but surrender though. Surrender. Okay, time. Don't take no time worrying about shit. Okay, accept this change. Don't be resistant to change. Okay, baby, period. All right, y'all. That's all I got for you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. You guys need anything from me, um, look in the description box below for a personal reading. Uh, you want to ask me one or two questions, donate to my channel, or uh, add me on Instagram. All of that is below. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Bye.